I've done this, I think, probably eight times since I've been on stage. It's just as warm in Seton as I remember it. So, <laughs> so hello, everyone. Thank you, Alex, for introducing me. That was, that was really nice. Um, wow, it's, it's always so nostalgic to be back at the Mount during Orientation Week. I always think back to my time spent here walking through the same routine of you know, getting my books, moving on to residence, and just getting the lay of the land for the school year to come. Uh, before I get started, I, I want to kind of do the same as Dr. Blueshart uh, just did and really just send a big congrats to all of you here today because you, you are here and, and that means that you made it. And I believe that at the end, uh, those words, they don't just mean, uh, are meant to be expressed when you graduate, I, I don't believe. Um, because in order to get to that point at the end, you really need to, you need to go through own, your own hoops just to begin. So uh, I want to give yourself a round of applause. So please, please do this again. I think you guys deserve it. So. And to the parents too, students, give your parents a big round of applause because I know my family, my family appreciated it after helping lug my entire life to Nova Scotia. So uh, they are really amazing and, and they're your support. So they do deserve a big round of applause as well. So. So today marks the beginning of your journey here at Mount St. Vincent University. And it's an honor for me to be speaking to you today. Looking out into the crowd, I know just from experience that there are probably a million and one things running through your minds as you organize your routines for the year. Just as I did when I started back in 2010, I wrote really small on this and I don't know why because I'm losing my place a couple of times, so I apologize. Uh, 2010, that was seven years ago. Seven years, that was a, that's a long time ago. And uh, it was seven long years filled with many assignments and essays and case studies and looking at the clock thinking, if I sleep now, I'll get full four hours tonight. <laughs> that never panned out, by the way. I only managed to get about three and a half, probably at best, so. Uh, thinking back to my first year, I keep imagining how useful a ceremony like this would have been to someone like me as I tried to get my grounds. Shortly after my parents made their way back to my hometown in Miramichi, New Brunswick. Anybody from Miramichi, New Brunswick in general? Yes, yes, there's always one. <laughs> awesome. Uh, because I was never the cool kid growing up. I, I tried to be, to the best of my abilities, but my interests always fell somewhere under the dorky category whenever I was in high school. Ain't that right? Preach, right? That's the best. I like you. Yeah, we even had our own section at lunchtime. It was great. I would be there every day playing video games, trading cards, and I knew that's what I liked to do. It was fun for me. I had a very niche group of friends who were also in that section, and we all got through high school together. And for the most part, it wasn't that bad for me. Flash forward to 2010, first year of university, very different scenario. Same person, same interests, but now I was in university. My parents had just left, I had no idea what was going to happen, and I just went, waited for the moment where I could find a safe haven to collect my thoughts. But instead of fleeing to find the nearest corner to perch in until the crowd died down, something different happened. When I turned and looked into the sea of people, I realized that they were all experiencing almost similar feelings. I saw no divide between cool and uncool. There were just people. And amongst these people were smiles from the many, many orientation leaders who were just students like me. And they are the very same that I am sure you have been helping you out today and welcoming you onto this beautiful campus. So give you a round of applause for the orientation leaders because they, they have a bright light that shines from them and I think that's important to notice. So that was big for me. It wasn't going to be uh, a categorization based on such things like I was in high school. Um, I was allowed to be dorky or goofy and express my interests and better yet, use those interests to get involved on campus and become a leader. So that was the start of the most incredible years that I think I've ever had in my entire life, and it all happened on this campus. My journey was much like a Mario Kart game, if anybody's played Mario Kart, who's, uh, yeah, you like that game? It's great. Good game. Um, some days I felt like I was on Rainbow Road, so searching for the next item so I could make my next move, trying not to fall off the path, seeing who was ahead and who was behind me, and some days it was like Mario Circuit a continuous rotating track with minimal obstacles and a few boosts along the way. However, always in the end, crossing the finish line. Unless someone hits you with a star at the last minute and then everyone passes you, those people are not nice. Don't be like them, it's not good. 
So flash forward again to now. This is your beginning. As you sit here taking in everything, I want you all to realize something. This is a fresh start for you, and you are amazing. Absolutely amazing. You are going to struggle, and you are going to contemplate whether you are making the right decisions, and you are not always going to want to put a smile on your face, and you're probably going to spill coffee on the only white thing that you own. I mean, it happens, right? But the one thing that doesn't change out of all that is the fact that you are amazing. Each and every one of you has one individual quality that is absolutely different from everyone else around you. That makes you important, and it makes you irreplaceable. Here at the Mount, you have the ability to be yourself, and you have the resources to lead others like you. You don't have to be alone. You can be scared, but you don't have to be alone. You are all in this together. The end goal is absolutely the same, and every day can be a new beginning. Thank you.